All right. Hey, you guys, this is Mr. Pearson, and I want to talk to you right now about energy sources. And energy sources, they come in two varieties. They come in two types. Uh, one is renewable, and the other is non-renewable. And we'll talk about that here. Uh, we'll talk about those in just a moment. But let's start off talking about renewable energy resources. Renewable energy resources are energy resources that can be replaced. They can be replaced, which means if we use them, if we uh, we use them, we can replace them. It may take a little bit of time, but we can replace them and get more of them. Now, for our purposes, we are going to talk about three different types of renewable energy resources. The first one we want to talk about is the sun. We all know what the sun is. It's that big ball of light up in the sky. And the sun, we know it provides heat energy. It provides light energy, but we can also use the sun's energy to help us make electricity. And you're saying, Mr. Pearson, how in the world can we do that? I feel it's, it's hot on me some days, and I can see, but how do we use that to make electricity? Well, there are these special things called solar panels. You may see them from time to time on top of people's houses. Um, they're called solar panels, and what they do is they collect the sun's energy, and they're used to make electricity and not only do uh, does the sun provide energy through solar panels the sun also gives energy to trees which helps the trees grow and then we can use the trees for for heat energy we can burn it in a fire we can use it to build houses we can do all those types of things so the sun very important all right another type of renewable energy resource that is available to us is water. Everybody loves water. We love to go swimming in the water. We love to splash in the water. We love to take baths. We like to drink it, do all of those things. But water energy, water can also be used to make electricity. And you're going, Mr. Pearson, can't use electricity with water. Don't you know if you get inside of water and there's electricity, you will get electrocuted and it will not end well for you. Yes, I do know this. But here's the thing. We can use running water, moving water, to make electricity. This is how it works. There are things called dams. They're, they're big buildings. They're big walls that help, uh, help keep water from flowing into certain areas. But there are special kinds called hydroelectric dams. Hydroelectric dams. And hydroelectric dams, the way they work is they have special machinery inside of them. And that special, those special, that special machinery is called a turbine. And so what the dams will do is it'll allow a certain amount of the water to come in, and the water comes flowing in very, very quickly. And as it comes in, it turns the turbine, it spins, spins the turbine, and that turbine is connected to a generator. And as that generator spins, as that generator, the turbine spins, it causes that generator to create electricity. So water... We can use water to make electricity uh, as a renewable resource because we, most of the time we will have running water available to us. We're not going to run out of that. Finally, the other one, we've talked about the sun using the sun's energy. We've talked about water using the water from uh, uh, through a hydroelectric dam. Finally, we have one called wind. Wind power is very important as well. And wind power works like this. You may have seen um, a big windmill, or you may have even seen a fancy, a fancy windmill made out of metal. Those are called turbines. And as the wind blows, it hits those propellers, and it causes them to spin. And just like in a hydroelectric dam, the turbine, the turbine, the propellers, they are connected to a generator. And so as they spin, they they. Uh, they turn the generator and the generator makes electricity and then that energy is connected or is turned into electricity so our three types of renewable resources are the sun's energy solar power we have moving water also known as hydroelectric energy and we have wind power which uses windmills and turbines now let's talk about some advantages what is so great about these three renewable resources, well, first off, very important, very, very important is the fact that they never, ever run out. We learned from watching something else that we saw, we learned that the sun is projected to be around for another seven 
billion years. That's a long time. And so we will have the sun's energy. We will have the sun's energy to create electricity for a very long time. Same thing with wind. Because of weather, we will always have some wind. And water. And also, these types of energy, they do not pollute. There's very little pollution that comes from using these three natural resources, the sun, the wind, and water. So those are some advantages, the fact that they never run out and the fact that they do not pollute. But of course, if there are advantages, unfortunately, there have to be some disadvantages. And some disadvantages to these renewable energy resources, the sun, wind, and water, is that they are very expensive. It costs lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Did I say lots? It costs lots of money to build a dam or to install solar panels or even to put up turbines in a wind farm. It's very expensive, and so some people can't afford to do it. Also, they're not available everywhere. They're not available everywhere. Think about it. As the Earth is rotating, we have, we learned this, we have day and we have night. Can we use solar power at night? And the answer is no, we cannot because there's no sun at night. So it's not available everywhere. Sometimes the sun isn't out. Sometimes the sun can go down, can go behind the clouds. Or if we live up in Alaska or places like that, there are times when there is very little sunshine at all. Also, it's not windy everywhere. I mean, sure, yes, some places experience wind, but they don't get wind all the time. They get, you know, sometimes they might get a little breeze, but not enough to create electricity. And other places, other towns, may not be located near water. They may not be, they might be in the middle of a desert, or they might be in a place where there isn't any water, and so it's very difficult for us to use water power there as well. So, renewable energy resources, sun, wind, and moving water. All right, not only do we have renewable re energy resources, but we also have non-renewable energy resources and non-energy ah, non-energy non-renewable sorry about that non-renewable energy resources are resources that cannot be replaced they take a very very long time to form and so once we use them up there aren't going to be any more another name for these are what we call we call them fossil fuels and like I said fossil fuels take a very long time to form. They take uh, thousands and thousands and potentially even millions of years. And so what we're talking about here is a fossil fuel could have come from a dinosaur. How cool is that? That something we're using for energy was once upon a time a dinosaur. And fossil fuels, they come from decayed plants and animals. So animals that lived and died and they they fell down to the ground and their um, their bodies started to become part of the ground. They eventually become these fossil fuels or these non-renewable energy resources. And the, just like we talked about with renewable resources, we're also going to have three of these. Very easy to remember. The first one is coal. And coal is a, it's a black rock. It, um, it comes from the ground, so people, they will dig tunnels or they will dig big, giant holes and they'll find coal, and so they'll go in and they'll dig. Where, I, where the state I live in, West Virginia, coal mining is a very big industry. Lots of people work in the coal mines. Uh, and what they do with coal is they'll take it, they'll take these rocks, and they will burn it. And when they burn it, they use that, that heat to, um, to heat water, which creates steam. And when, they, when there's steam... What happens is, is that steam turns a turbine and it makes electricity. Now, coal is a solid. It's a rock. It's black rock that they find. Um, they use it in lots of different things. They use it in power stations to make electricity. They can use it in uh, railroads. I don't know if you ever watched Thomas the Tank Engine, but some of them um, used coal to power the, the trains there as well. So coal is a non-renewable resource. It's one of our fossil fuels. Another one of our fossil fuels is oil. And oil also comes from the ground. They use big machines to pump it up out of the ground. A lot of it in the, uh, the Middle East, over in, um, in Europe, in, uh, in Asia. 
There's also a lot of it in Canada. We have some in different places in the United States, but they pump it up from the ground. And we use oil to make fuel. So the gasoline that we put into our vehicles uh, that Mr. Pearson puts in his car or maybe your mom and dad puts in their car, your bus driver puts in the bus, uh, we use those to make fuel. We use oil to make that fuel. Uh, if you ever fly anywhere on an airplane or you take a boat, uh, that would also use oil as the fuel. And oil is a liquid. So we have coal, which is a solid, and oil is the liquid. And the last one, the last one of our fossil fuels, our non-renewable energy resources, is natural gas. And it also comes from the earth. And when they, when they go, um, when they look for oil, oftentimes they'll find natural gas as well. And natural gas, obviously it's a gas, we use it to heat stoves. You actually, ask mom and dad, you might have natural gas at your house. So you use it to heat your stove. Uh, some people use it to heat heaters. Uh, and other people use it to do dryers. And my neighbors who live next door, they have a big tank in their backyard. It's buried under the ground. And every once in a while, a truck will come, and it'll fill up that tank with natural gas. And that's what they use to uh, heat different things in their house. That's how they get hot water. That's how when it's cold outside, they use that natural gas to in the heater to heat their house and get them warm. All right, now we talked about advantages and disadvantages with our renewable resources. So let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages for our non-renewable resources. All right, first off, a, one of the advantages is that a non-renewable resource, our fossil fuels, they're very easy to convert to electricity. There's not a whole lot of equipment or things that you need. Uh, you can burn them and use that energy very easily to make electricity. Also, it's relatively inexpensive. Now, obviously, the stuff's not cheap, but it's, it's relatively inexpensive to mine it, to get it up out of the ground. It's relatively inexpensive to buy it. It's relatively inexpensive. So lots of people can get these things, and it can be used anywhere. You can use coal, natural gas, and oil. You can use it just about anywhere. It doesn't matter if there's a river near your house or you're in the middle of the desert. You can use a fossil fuel, a non-renewable energy resource, you can use it anywhere. But there are disadvantages as well. And those disadvantages are that they can cause pollution when they're burned. If you've ever seen a big city, uh, lots of cars, lots of traffic, a lot of times the air is very dirty. And that's because of the fossil fuels that are being burned. If you've ever seen a, a factory that uses a lot of coal, and when they burn it, it causes smoke and different things. So it can cause pollution, air pollution, which is pretty bad for our lungs. It's bad for plants, all that kind of stuff. So one of the disadvantages is that uh, it causes pollution. And another one is that eventually they are going to run out. There are no more dinosaurs. And like I said, it takes thousands and thousands and thousands of years for these to be formed. So eventually these fossil fuels are going to run out. So it's very important and scientists and other people are looking for other alternative energy sources. Ways that we can use solar power and wind power and water power so that we don't have to rely on um, the fossil fuels, the non-renewable resources as much. But like I, you know, like we learned, it's it's expensive to use those. So scientists are working to try to come up with ways so that we are not quite as dependent on that. So let me review very quickly. There is renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable, we can get more of. Non-renewable, they were eventually going to run out and they cannot be replaced. Renewable resources are, and I'm sorry you're just looking at the table here. Renewable resources are water, wind, and solar. Non-renewable resources, also known as fossil fuels that come from decayed material in the earth. They are coal, oil, and natural gas.